Welcome to Bang & Olufsen of Nottingham. May I introduce you to the most beautiful music system ever produced, Bang & Olufsen's iconic BF Sound 9000. I'm going to explain in this video why this is not just a vintage CD player, but how it can be easily brought bang up to date for the 21st century to work with B&O's very latest smart speakers or any audio system or AV receiver. And please stay to the end of the video because I'm going to explain the one essential piece of information you need to know if you're looking to purchase a used BSN 9000. Please come and join me. If you're new to the channel, I'm Steve from Sounds Heavenly. My day job is helping people to connect and get the best from their Bang & Olufsen products. I've owned a BS Sound 9000 like this for many years and loved it, so I'm really pleased to be able to show you one of these on the channel for the first time. This one isn't my own, this is owned by Bang & Olufsen of Nottingham and I believe this is for sale, so I will put B&O Nottingham's contact details in the video description if you're interested in this unit. Very briefly, this is probably the item that if you asked a random person on the street to name a Bang & Olufsen product, this is what they would identify. It's a classic David Lewis design from 1996, was produced all the way through to 2011. Three different variants with minimal differences, but visually and functionally pretty much the same. It's a six disc CD player and the clamper moves from disc to disc as it plays. It also has sensors so if you have the door open or if you put your hand in the unit while the disc is moving it will slow right down. It can display the tracks that you are playing on your CDs if you program them in manually on its LEDs and underneath this hinged panel is a keypad to give you an operation of the unit and you may not know, you can actually turn that through 180 degrees, put it back into place, and now the LED display on the smoke glass panel will actually turn around as well. So this can be basically set flat on a table, stood vertically on a wall or horizontally, and by turning the keypad, you can have the display turned so that it always reads the right way up nice little visual touch. In the 21st century we're all used to having our music on digital smart speakers. Here we've got Bang & Olufsen's new BF Sound Balance and Level. These have every new technology you could ever want. Spotify Connect, AirPlay 2, Chromecast, Bluetooth 5, but the one thing they don't do is allow you to play your CD collection. And that's where this is the perfect addition. So, nice and easy. This, when, when it was new, would have typically been sold with BioLab powered speakers, usually BioLab 8000s. And the unit detects when speakers are connected. So there are two things that we'd do to, to get this BioSound 9000 playing to, for example, BioSound Balance or BioSound Level. The first is a simple cable which will go from a power link connection in the little alcove at the back of the 9000 to the mini jack line input underneath the balance or behind the level. Now, when the BSN 9000 doesn't detect BLAB speakers connected, it goes into a standalone CD player mode, which was designed from the factory, and it means that it doesn't respond to the BNO remote. So we can get around that with this speaker sense adapter. I'll put links to this and the cables in the video description. What this does is it goes into the other power link socket on the 9000 and it tricks the 9000 into thinking that it has, for example, BL8000 speakers connected. Now you can use your BNO remote as normal to control the CDs. Turn up the volume on the BF Sound 9000 to around 70, save this as the default setting, and now you have full volume control from your smart speaker. It's worth noting if you're using stereo paired speakers, which can be paired via the BNO app, so here we've got two of the balances, you only need to connect the cable from the 9000 into your primary speaker. And that's, that can be either the left or the right speaker. 
it's normally whichever one is most easily accessible within your room because that's the one where the touch panel on the top will operate. So then once you've cabled into that one speaker, the two speakers communicate over your network and play stereo sound. The reason we connect from the power link output of the 9000, not the AUX socket, is that leaves the AUX socket free. So for example, if you want to add a record player as well, that can also link into your smart speakers through the 9000. There are a myriad of options here, and please, please get in touch at soundsheavenly.com if you've got any questions about the best way of using a classic B&O music system with, with anything, be it smart speakers, an AV surround sound system, a non-B&O amplifier with passive speakers, or which incidentally can be done using the same speaker sense adapter for remote control and a power link to twin RCA cable to go into the CD input of your generic amplifier or AV receiver. So this is not a 1990s vintage audio icon. This is the gateway to bring your lifelong loved CD collection into a 21st century music setup. And as promised at the start, I'm going to explain the one thing you need to know if you're looking to buy one of these for the first time. This is essential. As they're out of production, you will always be buying pre-owned and my recommendation would be always buy from a Bang & Olufsen dealer or trusted reseller if you can. But the essential thing is to remember that many of these units, um, the, the later versions, had the option of having a pin code set up which if they were disconnected from mains power for more than 30 minutes, it would require the code to be programmed in from a B&O remote or from the keypad under the panel here before the unit would operate. It's absolutely essential before you buy from an unknown source that you find out that pin code and check it. Because the only way, if you don't have that pin code, the only way of getting it restored is via Bang & Olufsen themselves and you will have to provide proof of rightful ownership to them which is likely to be via a chain of receipts show, going back to the original purchase. So what I recommend and what I do if I buy one of these is I will ask the seller to power the unit down, keep it powered down for 30 minutes and then power it up and then I'll ask them to tell me the pin code so that I can enter it in. It should be four digits if they give you a five digit pin code, that is most likely the engineer's service code, which only works for a few hours. So that will leave you the next day with a non-functioning unit. You can change or disable the pin code once it's been typed in, so you don't have to always remember that. But what I'd suggest is that you type in that code yourself so that you know that it, you have the correct code, and then get your phone or tablet download the user manual online and disable the pin code until you're familiar with the operation of the unit. You can then go back in at a later date and set up a new pin code that's easily memorable. So I hope that's helped. If you take away one thing from this video, please let it be that any of these iconic Bang & Olufsen music systems and CD players can work with any modern smart speakers and audio products and that if you need to know how, drop me a line at soundsheavenly.com and I'll be happy to help. Thank you for watching.